Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we're told that the circle is touching the square. So that tells us that the side of the square, that each side of the square of course, is the same as the diameter of the circle. So if we want to, we could just show that on the diagram. So that when we're told that the area of the square is 49 centimetres squared, then we know that d squared is equal to 49. Now what we want to do is to work out the area of the circle giving the answer in terms of pi. So the formula for the area of a circle is that a is pi times r squared. So first of all we'll find what d is, then we'll be able to work out what r is and then substitute that into the formula for the area of the circle. So if d squared is 49, and obviously d has got to be positive, so d is going to be the square root of 49, so that's going to be 7. And the radius of a circle will be half of that, so we could either write that as 3.5 or 7 over 2. And because we're asked to give the answer in terms of pi, I think it's going to be easier to leave the fraction as a top-heavy fraction, so I'll write that as 7 over 2. And then, looking at the area of the circle, that's going to be pi times 7 over 2 squared. So it's going to be better to write down the uh, 7 over 2 or squared first, and then put the pi afterwards. We normally write a number followed by a letter. So we've got 7 squared, so that's 49 and 2 squared is 4, and that multiplies pi. And the units for that are centimetres squared. You may like to write that as 49 pi over 4 centimetres squared, that will be fine too. 